Welcome to the Reporting with Retract tutorial. My name is Amy Lafferty and I will be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Retract registration and reporting system to fulfill your reporting requirements under Part 175. In order to report, first log on to Retract Connect at www.connect.retract.com and log in using the username and password you use to register under the Michigan Recycling Activity Reports. If you have not registered under our program yet, you can check out the Registering with Retract tutorial video on our DEQ Recycling website, www.michigan.gov slash DEQ Recycling, or by clicking the link on the screen for more details and a step-by-step -step guide on how to sign up for the program. Once you have logged in, find the Michigan Recycling Activity Reports module under the My Program section and click Go next to the name of your organization. You will be redirected to a new page titled Michigan Recycling Activity Reports Status. From there, towards the middle of the page, you will see Annual Report and Quarterly Report. You will have to choose whether you would like to report annually or quarterly on behalf of your organization. You may choose a different option each fiscal year, but cannot switch in the middle of the fiscal year. Therefore, if you choose quarterly reports, for example, then you would be committed to reporting quarterly for the entirety of the fiscal year. Once you have chosen a frequency of reporting, click the plus sign next to the type of report you would like to complete. Reporting will begin for quarterly reporters in January 2017 and in October 2017 for annual reporters. After that, each new fiscal year, which begins on October 1st each year, a new column will appear for that year's registering and reporting requirements for them to be completed under. The reporting period will be January 1st through February 15th for first quarter reports, which covers materials recycled from October 1st through December 31st of the previous year, April 1st through May 15th for second quarter reports, which covers materials recycled from January 1st to March 31st, July 1st through August 15th for third quarter reports and materials recycled between April 1st and June 31st, and October 1st through November 15th for fourth quarter reports which covers recycled materials from July 1st through September 30th. For annual reports, the reporting period will be October 1st through November 15th of each year and will cover materials recycled from the previous fiscal year. When you are ready to report, click on the plus sign next to either annual report if you are an annual reporter for the fiscal year, or on the plus sign next to the proper quarter under quarterly report if you are a quarterly reporter for the fiscal year. From there, you will be redirected to a page titled either Annual Report or Quarterly Report. Both reports will look the exact same, have the same questions, data, etc. Under the Survey Data line, you will first select if your establishment is a mandatory reporter or a voluntary reporter. It is important to select the correct category because the surveys are different. Once you have selected the type of reporter you are, both surveys will show four categories. Reportable Recyclable Material Received from In-State, Reportable recyclable material received from out of state, reportable recyclable material shipped somewhere in state, and reportable recyclable material shipped somewhere out of state. From there, for each section, you will fill in your corresponding data. For each of the four categories, first select the type of material you will be reporting on under the reportable recyclable material category, followed by the amount under the amount column. For the units, the department is looking for data reported in tons but the Retract system allows for data to be entered in tons, pounds, and cubic yards and will automatically convert the number reported into tons to be reported to the department, which will appear in the Total Tons Shipped slash Received column under each category. Finally, under the two Reportable Recyclable Material Shipped categories, you will also find a Shipped To column. Under this column, there will be a drop-down list of all the known recycling establishments in the state. This column is how we will avoid double counting. If you are shipping your recyclable materials to a location that does not appear on this list, choose Other under the Landfill slash Other heading, and it will allow you to type in your other location that does not appear. Department staff will work with Retract staff to add any establishments that are identified this way to the drop-down list. For each type of material your establishment recycled, you will click Add underneath each row and fill in the appropriate data for each material type under each category. After you have filled in information in all four categories about each of the reportable recyclable materials your establishment recycles if you are a mandatory reporter, or about a larger variety of materials if you are a voluntary reporter, hit Submit to Program at the bottom of the page. Your data will be submitted to the department. The only difference between mandatory and voluntary report surveys are the types of material options listed to be reported on. 
The mandatory reports only have the seven reportable recyclable materials, and the voluntary reports have over 75 types of materials that can be reported on. It is still important, however, to choose the correct category of reporter your establishment is because of the way the data can be analyzed and used by the department. If you are unclear as to whether your establishment is a mandatory or voluntary reporter, you can check out the mandatory versus voluntary reporting tutorial on the Michigan DEQ Recycling website. Thank you for watching the Reporting with Retract tutorial video. For further information, please visit the following additional resources. You may also contact me at LaffertyA at Michigan.gov or Steve Noble at NobleS4 at Michigan.gov if you have questions or need further clarification. Thank you, and we hope to see your establishment in Retract soon.